Sadatari <laughs> Idevi molo del masiharul maro amdena dits nobs argat sakartvelos da zalian var sakartvelo da idev ismi da agunishne rom twiton azar shiroshebe di romelits aris atkonda martma devori eklesis magram ara kartuli zalian beori kartuli khat eviat azar shi da satra pezo tsavsi a kartuli monastre bi surat evi eklesis surat evi kartvelits minda ne bi khat evi da. I Twitter mama or Gada Sarawat clubs, liturgical cartoon, cartoons, it's with the Enas as a Tuya. Damn, she was great house, but no school for two the chat, I was cartoon at Sirwa. Uh, was Ella Martha did the best from the Magram, Gamu, Chulik, Avshiria, Sakartuos, Amamerikis, Cartoon Martha, the Mamagera Simashor is Akla, Mamagera Senior, Shimkova, Vladimir Seminary, she's Aulops, the Serum, Shiri contacted God, Mamma, stand. Sakartuos, the Winter, Sakartuos, the Winter, in Georgia. They, want, they like to talk to you about Georgia. How much you love Georgia. Georgia and people. How much you love us. On the occasion of the consecration of the church today here in New York, Staten Island, uh, I'm very happy. I couldn't be here earlier for the service because one of my friends was being ordained as a deacon. But I'm very happy for the community because the Georgian people and Georgia means so much to me especially at a very important time in my life, at a time of uh, maybe a, mm, uh, at a crossroads in my life, when not only the land, but the people of Georgia became uh, very instrumental, actually several times. And there were a number of Georgian people who befriended me and stood by me and encouraged me. And I'm very indebted to them. And as well, they were able to open up for me, it's all right, and able to open up for me the treasures of the Georgian culture. First of all, the church, the music, folk songs, the literature, the iconographic architectural tradition, as well as the uh, literature, and the, uh, literature and the significance of the people and their story and also the significance of their witness of the Orthodox faith throughout the centuries. So now, today, there's an opportunity to have a permanent location for the church for the Georgian people. And the, the, the point of that, the point I find that's important, is that there's a place for the Georgian people to come and be instructed in their faith, to be taught, to be taught what their, what their church teaches, what the Georgian people believe, and to express this in a unique way. And so this today, this place right here, this community, this church becomes a focal point for that uh, uh, instruction in the Christian faith. So the children will grow up knowing what on earth their, their people hold as the Christian faith, what the Christian faith is, what the uh, gospel teaches, and they'll also, also in addition, they'll have a corresponding responsibility. Responsibility to live according to that teaching, to live according to the Orthodox faith. And that responsibility will lie, first of all, on the parents who have to explain to their children why on earth they're Christians. What does it mean to be a Christian? Who is Jesus Christ? What does the gospel teach? What's contained in the scriptures? And they'll have to read the New Testament, read the gospel, and explain that to their children. And eventually here, hopefully, you'll have a school where they teach the children the Christian faith at all levels, that is, not only kindergarten and in grade school, 
but later on even through high school, to teach the children what are the, the, all the treasures of our faith. And while that's common with the Orthodox Church throughout the entire world, it'll especially focus here on the Georgian people and their children. So uh, this day's an important day in that respect, an important day in that a altar has been consecrated, one that's supposed to stand here firm and steadfast as the foundation of the church to the end of the world, a place where the uh, bloodless sacrifice, that is the rational sacrifice, the sacrifice of the word takes place, and where the gospel is proclaimed from this point, from this uh, uh, geographical center. And it's interesting because this, isn't lo this is located not too far from Ellis Island, where all the immigrants to this country came from in the old days came through. They all came through Ellis Island in the old days. And so the people come through here and take their understanding of the faith into wherever, whatever communities they settle, whether it's Chicago or San Francisco, Los Angeles, Atlanta, or wherever. It's Philadelphia. It's, it's secondary, irrelevant. Maybe in the middle of the country in Iowa, a place like Iowa, for example. And to take their understanding of the Orthodox faith and share that. To share it with all the beauty that you have in your song, your community, your relationships, to share that with everyone around you. And so the Georgian people can be lights, lights that help to uh, disperse darkness. And that is done by, first of all, knowledge of God, love of God. And that is what is the, uh, the central expression of the victory of our faith, victory that overcomes evil, a victory that changes people. So I hope on this day that all that starts going forward rapidly and grows. Amen. Karabi da kateriya monaster shi versh eklesa shi versh vadit azashida iseti stak sharo albat karabi chai keta da uke chhemi da uchit vegar shi vadit koda kwedi da karabi da no shi vadit da eka da gui na khis bere maat kono da stumra bi gelo de boni ro mi vadit da mama gira sime shi moti alda iko sakurt khewalshida sakurt khewali dan gadmo vida da chhen ay sati thaut kolas mogu salmesi oragat ay kanu me ore bi ar gelo de boni tru ay main amerik eli mozgari da. Tan beri da tan tiroase. Ki chen guelo de boden rom chawa di da tkhonda magram da khas tumabi kawi da shemo guge bat azar shi beta esi koragat zai dau hit kari es momenti ar da guavit sabah arasod es zalian madri le bivot mama os. Am de jiri kawi sa kartu eloshi. Am intam si guada na Georgia. Iko huti jer sa kartu eloshi. Huti jer. Sada. Where? Ah, no. To be the you see. Batumi, Adjara, uh, the uh, Abkhazeti, uh, 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 Kamana, and uh, Kamanji, yeah. uh, um, Ara, Ara, Matskat, and Kinvarskeri, Alaverdi. I was in the snow once upon a time. Oh. Yes, I have been to snow, I have seen snow. <laughs> there is snow in Georgia, it is on top of the mountains. Yes, and uh, uh, and then we also went to Paravani and uh, and David Garesha, and all sorts of beautiful places. But just samples in Bodhbi, of course. But just samples of beautiful places. And we passed near Sinandali, and uh, um, um, near Borjomi, but we didn't spend much time in, in those places. How many times you met uh, our Patriot? Many. Many times. Can you say some any, words about? Any First of all, I'll say a few words about Patriot Ilya. First thing, he is a very, very beautiful man. He's a man who is not characterized by extremes. The only extreme he has is he has extreme love for God and man. And uh, he's mild in his speech, in his gestures, in his manner. 
and he is a he's a great opponent. He's a great opponent of fanaticism. He's a great opponent of narrow-mindedness, and he's a, a a great supporter of love. And this is reflected in the life of the church. And this is important, for example, in art, in music, in literature, in poetry, in architectural expression of every kind, in the uh, whole sense of what the culture is, even the earth itself. He's a great defender of all of this in Georgia. And of course, first and foremost, in communicating the Christian faith to the people, beginning with the children. And, that's, and, and he's, uh, first of all, a warm, loving man. The first time I met him, the first thing he asked was about my parents and my family. And I always remember that. And uh, he, he always would consider various things. But he also looked at it in a practical way. It was, it, we can consider this, but how, how should this be done? And I also know the people who he supported, the people who he's encouraged. And I think that says as much about him as about those people themselves. So yes, he's, uh, uh, when I think about him, I'm very grateful to God that there is such a bishop as, as he is, uh, someone who loves the church, loves his faith, and loves uh, Christian faith as it's expressed throughout the whole world. Mama Gerasim, I was two tons of water. I was a little bit 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 of water. I was a little Mama Andrea Kurash will say to him. Megan Sakutrevit, Ekramis with Wimit Omrom, Nogor Gitai, Tarda Vilabida Musa, all the Italian Bury, Max Water Shores, Mama Gerashimish, Sahab Magram, Eti Rame, Italian Minda Kwa, Patriak and Daka Shirabit held with her, Seti Ragataro, I twenty Patriak, Yuritorato, Aristos, Pabiska, Nogamo Cheu, the Chamotolas, Hamus, Father Spoke, Miss Patriak, all to Sakatebena, Setragas, 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 Shenevlo by Knebest, Adris. I <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Every Halki Arda Diano. I said that's very big for Hita Diano that how we see Ragazzi Sinia to Gabriel Elevida Ragazzevio. It's a prominda, yes, Miss Sakartello, she met her. Sakartello, she has all as a met at Hariso. Is Shepard will be very my interest of Sopro with your gamut, carried gamos, the garden that's a more really better. Sidon was Mama Gera Sinis Sakartello. Miaris is a Titon Titon. Shale but so that mama will come with us. It's not coming, my gram. Who could Zalian come wash car out the ice room? So it's been done a Biarian. Transquerana, she's Zalian Berry, Robert Smagani said that. I got at one is Mtaze, Ola Berry, absolutely that's been done the other. Oily Madgani, Martla, Margalit Ebivitarian, Sartuno Ebashi. Is a Biarian Sakatoshi at Smida Berebida. Mature is Albert America's territory as the Albert Eta de Mama Gerasimi, Amastam Matvitodi. Is a Tiragatse Mitra, Sauvarshi, Romelitz, Holochosia, Mama Georgis Gitra Sakatoshi, Holochosia, Smida Bereb Magitra Sakatoshi, Romlevitz, Romlevitz Ararianga Capuliershi. It's Zalian Nishna Lovania. 
Imito rom, bolu jami sakartvelo. Ayam berebma unda gadar chino. Im berebma rom lebiz khak shiarari ana se gamo cheni lebi. Magram yixtu yanda lot sulo benda yiguat yan chumad. Sukhe bizgan damo kide bata ruar chana nise. Isar kada zemnish nelovan. Rat kma unda. Chen patriarch shake itres ertre. Isao. Ay sadays mama wa kada ak dadiso. خودا خالقی و اسی و اگرچه مودام دنی مربوط به آبزام دنی لغت سودا. از سوی خود من دست سدم. رات که نیست میاد میدانه بیست دادیان در اگر دادیان. سرم. وقت من دست خواه مغلام ببسم. مسرت سوت خالیت میدانه بیاریاندا. اما تنها قابل بذه تو هیبلی. مرتلا گابس کند با چه نیست کارت ول دادا. مرتلا گوش ول با. دا مرتلا استار از مولی چه وقت که دان سکارت داشی گالو بیت. ای خر داوود. I want to ask you about the girl sing one question. Have you ever met Monk uh, Gabriel? Baby Gabriel. Yes. Monk yes. Gabriel. Have yes. you ever met? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's Can a, you tell us the expression? Yes. One of the one of the joys of my first visit to Georgia was to go to Sam Tavro. And there in the tower of Tsar Miriam to knock on the door and meet this old monk. Kind of bend over a little bit. Very quiet and very humble. I, I wrote about this. He invited us into his cell, his kelian. And it is, to me, it was amazing because it's, a, it's all right. The whole wall was covered with these photos of elders and spiritual fathers and bishops and icons and pictures of churches, things that he had salvaged. We take these things for granted now because we can print them, we can copy them, we can share them. We have access to them. But there was a time when he collected all these things, when in a way that activity of just collecting them was already a little bit criminal or suspect. And more so, he knew the story behind each of those pictures. Just like, for example, when you walk through a cemetery and you see the graves, to know the story behind each person who's there, like a mystery, something mystical that's actually represented just by the name inscribed on that tomb. And with Father Gabrielli, it was like that in his Kelia. Everything on the wall for him had a series of stories that he knew. That he went and he went and pursued those stories. And he knew what each one of those pictures said. It was everyone was meaningful. And while somebody else would see just a bunch of photographs or pictures taped or stuck on the wall, for him it was a continuation of the lives of the saints, you might say. That everything that was on the wall was part of the life of the church, a persecuted, uh, a life of the church in a persecuted era, uh, when people were Christians at the cost of their reputation or the cost of their own blood. And Father Gabriel was the, is in a way, a non-literary historian of that period. He carried it inside him and Many people came back to the church in the ni late 1980s, late and uh, 1990s. But Father Gabriel re represents that continuity of the church throughout the entire period of communism. That he he carried everything inside him and shared that. And of course, he was looked at as being very strange. He was looked at as being odd. He was looked at in a way as a, you might say an ecclesiastical failure that he never had a, you know, important position, so to speak. And yet that, uh, I think, is a mistake, that he had just the right position. And in a way, by the way he acted, by his strangeness, by his uh, authentic behavior, he, in a way, was able to remain under the radar a little bit, so to speak, and to carry that, uh, that whole tradition of the church to us. And Father Gabriele, of course, now people go to his grave, people pray to him, etc. And uh, the Lord will reveal, as he chooses, he'll reveal his sanctity. And that's ultimately, we shouldn't worry too much about that. The Lord will reveal it at the right time. Uh, but the thing that no one can doubt is that he embodied the experience of the church 
uh, through an extremely difficult period, and he influenced so many people to remain faithful to God. So what did he tell us that day? Well, we would ask a few questions. And he would say, yes, I knew him. And he would tell a few words. I didn't know enough at the time to connect the dots. I could just understand a little bit of what he said. But uh, to actually meet someone who was a, a living part of our, the tradition of our church was really awesome. It was uh, amazing to, to encounter someone like that. And the last part of what, can you, what, what greetings you can send to Georgians in Georgia? <laughs> First of all, uh, the most important thing is that we act according to our conscience as Christians every single day at all times. It's not the responsibility of the clergy only to proclaim the Christian faith. It's not the responsibility of the clergy to teach our children. It's not the responsibility of the clergy to uh, be leaders. It's the responsibility of each and every Georgian Orthodox Christian to be a witness to the church, a witness to the love of God. And that can be done simply uh, by living in a godly way at all times and all places and sharing with one's neighbor out of love, openness, the treasures of their Christian life. And it doesn't matter who that is. If the person's European, a Turk, a Persian, a Georgian, it's irrelevant just to, uh, to, to welcome them and by their living Christian faith, the other person will learn. Uh, and if you have an opportunity to say something to unlock the treasures of your church, so much the better. But uh, sometimes we don't have that opportunity. Sometimes all we have is the opportunity to welcome someone, to love someone. And that can be the way to open the door for them, to know that they'll want to come back to a place like this. They want to come back to a place where they experience love, warmth, hospitality, kindness, joy, and uh, that will attract them. And they'll want to know more. And then when they come back, there'll be a time to share more. So uh, I share today simply my joy, our common joy, our common hope in God. And in a way, maybe that's uh, for now the, what I would say. Sikaruli <laughs> Men, 
Mamma <laughs> 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 Meda chems me go bars mobi wa dad zrile bit sit wa sit wa sakar tolos e esi o iseti iseti monak oliro es arus South Shore o marta ta isas American Adam ya se 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 bizo buli ya sakar tolos suli ere bada misi misi ola peri es ne da peru ma kartol ma shei pso se se. Mago eli ar ofita. Dek enverchi ta kheba shwidi ta. Jaguar. Bejanishvili. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> Gigabs, Cartel Adamias, Chef de Badanahas, in the Chef de Babina, Rogoria, the South Sari Midgo Max, the Tagari Mercere Bags, or a piece is a get resided for Shake Gulso Haria. Carrots of the Mama Gera Sime, Irumeniro, California, she, Arisa, Mama Tahemad alias Carisahobis, Mama Tamonas area, the Iki or Irumeni. Da <laughs> Gevart, but in Azerbaijan, it's well, he didn't have much access to knowing about the Georgian church. 
I don't even know if he had ever met more than one or two Orthodox Christians who were from Georgia. I don't, I don't think it really registered with him. He knew the, some of the lives of saints uh, of the Georgian church. That was a, a, a little what he had, uh, to what he was exposed. He never had the opportunity to go there. Uh, I think he was dealing with he was dealing with other questions that were to him were immediate questions, questions in front of him. For example, the meeting or clash between the Orthodox faith and the and the modern West. To him, that was the questions he had to think about and address. And because of his background and experience, he was focused primarily on what he knew about the Orthodox Church in Russia because to him the Russian Orthodox Church was uh, the closest he could come to uh, having contact with the living tradition of the church. And I think in that respect to him the Georgian Church would have seemed rather abstract because he didn't have a contact, he didn't have a way of approach. My relationship with him is when I went to the monastery he was our spiritual father. We go to him for confession and in the evening after the Compline service, the, uh, I don't know how you say Compline in Georgian, is Apodiapnon, uh, Compline, uh, Padicheria, what do you call that? That's Vespers. Yeah, Padicheria, Padicheria. How do you say that? Okay, Let me cut that part out. Okay, the Compline service in the evening, we would go to have revelation of thoughts, where we would go and uh, simply on a daily basis, relate things that had come up in our lives or troubled us. It wasn't like a formal confession. And he also instructed us. He had little classes that he taught on a couple of weekdays. And he oversaw the daily life of the monastery. And he would give a, a little, very tiny homily, or a really short one, every morning after the um, the matin service and then usually during, at the end of the meal in the refectory, after the common meal, he would also give another short little homily. So several times a day he was instructing us. And we also had his example. So not only his words to us, but his example and way of life were, a, were how he impacted our lives. Uh, we saw how he lived his monastic life and what his, uh, where his heart was every day, and that made a big impression on so many people's lives. A lot of people became, went to seminary or eventually became priests because they had known him and he influenced them.
Sahari <laughs> 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 Oh, this is, um, is this Mama, Mama Georgi from. Uh, uh, oh, this is Father Gagi. No, no. Oh, oh for the new one, Father new Georgi. One. Yes. Basiladze. Yes. Yes. Basiladze. Ba. Basiladze. Okay. Who's now alive? Yes. Sure. Yes. Sure. Okay. Remember what he said about you? You said something. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yes, and yeah, you went to see him a couple times. Okay. Oh, Romelitz. is married. Romelitz has got that well, as which is Hinia to which area minds at Hadawata, Metro Atlantis, Imedin Mogushalos. Now it's me, Chemi Ojahi, Chemi, Ola Peri, Seniari, and from Ojah Smoke Lebuli Rohada, Ojahia Karakos, Sheni Megubari, Amhanagi, Sheni, how it's Dazaris, Masari, Shoboliza, Ola Perisa, how it's Metro Knasso, Malida, Sakato, Shetrin, Alu, what all the which went to Sakatar Mitsas. Ecclesiastes, <laughs> Iko <laughs> <laughs> Alba, the Ersuloneva, Rogus Patriarchy Mogus of this. Ersuloneva, by my guy Harit, Quero, Twin as a Guahara, Esari, Twenty, Taro, I shall not say very Sakatolo than Ertadetti. I said he has to rats Suli, Chirat, Chirde, Bamitor, and then a Dazabulit Horeba, Gak. 
და მალე მე პირადად მალე ვაპრუნე ვაპირებ საქართველოში დაბრუნებას 14 წელი ამისრულდება რაც ამერიკაში ვარ არ ყოფილა 14 წლის განმავლობაში საქართველოში და ეს ძალიან მე პირადად თბილისიდან ვარ წარმოშობით მამა გურია პირაძე ვარ ოზურგეთის რაიონი დარბაზის წარმოშობი და ჩემი ყველა წუთი უკვე გადართული არის რომ როგორ დაბრუნდე რაც შეიძლება მალე საქართველოში უბრალოდ ცოტა რაღაცები მაფერხებს ამჟამად რომ აი ეს ეკლესიის თვისაც რაღაცები იყო დახმარება საჭირო მიმრავიცი საკუთარი სულიერი მოძღვრის მამა ალექსანდრეს კურთხევა არ მაქვს ჯერ რომ წუთეს რომ დაბრუნდე საქართველოში სადე არ მოგცეს მაფერხებს კიდე კარგა ხანი ეს რო წავიდეს ალბათ დაინგრევა ეკლესიაში აი ღერძია რაღაცის რაღაცის ღერძია რაღაც არ ვიცი მე რისი ღერძია მაგრამ ერთიანობის ღერძი რო არის ნამდვილი ღმერთმა <laughs> ღმერთმა დაგვაბრუნოს მალე საქართველოში ეს ეკლესია ძიმითო და არსა ჩვენი წმინდანი ნოსითო სხვა სამრევლოები ამერიკაში რომ ღმერთმა როგორც ჩვენმა მეუფე დიმიტრი თქვა დაბრუნდე საქართველოში არა სულიერად დაცვილები არამე ჯვარით ხელში გაძლიერებული სულიერად წმენაში გაძლიერებული და სიყვარულში გაძლიერებული და ღმერთმა ინებოს ყველა ჩვენი ესე გაძლიერებული სიყვარული და წმენი დაბრუნება საქართველოში მალე რაც შეიძლება მალე დიდი მადლობა თქვენ კიდევ Don't be a